You turn on the TV and see an urgent message. <laughs> NASA experts believe that it could be up to 80 kilometers or 50 miles in diameter and is about to crash into our planet. This is comparable to the celestial body that destroyed the dinosaurs. If such an event were to happen again now, the impact would surely wipe out all life and burn the planet to the ground. But let's take it all in one step at a time. Just over 66 million years ago, our planet collided with an asteroid or comet that was later named Chicxulub. The impact triggered a massive energy release, triggered earthquakes, tsunamis, and eventually led to climate change. Then came the so-called Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event, to which we are partially indebted. If not for this event, large mammals would have never appeared on Earth, and with them, our ape-like ancestors. What brought death to the dinosaurs was the impetus for the future of humanity. So, let's say a block of iron the size of a city was hurtling through space toward Earth. There have been no huge lizards on our planet for a long time, which means that the main blow would be dealt to people. The asteroid would be detected many months before the impact, perhaps even years. Scientists would be able to calculate in advance approximately the time of the collision of the celestial body with our planet, but the place of impact would be calculated much later. And this could be crucial. If the asteroid that destroyed the dinosaurs had fallen just 30 seconds later or earlier, it would have landed in the Atlantic or Pacific Ocean, and then history would have taken a completely different path. The deep water part could have theoretically softened the blow of the Chicxulub, which in reality fell in shallow water, and the consequences would not have been so devastating. But let's imagine that everything would happen according to the same scenario that the dinosaurs once faced. A huge celestial body would approach the planet and crash into it. The impact would cause an explosion equivalent to 100 trillion tons of TNT, which is about 7 billion times more powerful than the bomb that fell on Hiroshima. The consequences of the impact would become greater with every passing moment. Gas cylinders, cars, gas stations, power plants, tankers would begin exploding. In a matter of seconds, the epicenter of the impact could be engulfed in flames. People fleeing from the destructive power of the cosmos could hide away in railway tunnels, deep basements in huge buildings, sewer systems, and catacombs. Those who had the opportunity to would try hiding in bunkers, but that would hardly help. The collision would cause the most powerful earthquake in history. Within 60 seconds, the tremors would be felt even at a distance of 300 kilometers or 186 miles. Every shelter would start collapsing. Along with the earthquake, giant tsunamis would roll across the planet. They would completely destroy the coastal cities. But the tsunamis wouldn't be able to cool the burning planet. Its entire atmosphere would be heated. The trees that had resisted the shockwave would be ignited by molten rock and solid debris falling from the sky. But these falling fragments would not only set the forests on fire, they would start falling over large areas in a rain of fire, completely destroying cities. So far, all this is reminiscent of the end of the age of dinosaurs, but there's one caveat. The ancient lizards did not possess atomic energy. Explosions of stations and storage facilities with nuclear waste would turn the fall of the asteroid to Earth into a man-made apocalypse. Areas nearby nuclear power plants would become uninhabitable for many years, but no one would even realize it. There would simply be no one there to notice it. Most of humanity would die along with many animals and those who did manage to survive would face another test, climate change. 
plants that miraculously survive the fires would die within a few weeks from lack of sunlight. Large trees could survive for decades due to the accumulation of sugars in their tissues and slow metabolism. With the exception of some microorganisms and small creatures, the Earth's surface would become virtually uninhabited. A new ice age would arrive soon, and it may become even more severe than all of the previous ones. Humans could survive in such conditions if they went deep underground to take advantage of the heat emanating from the core, or if they built isolated dwellings inside domes, like how Martian research stations are usually portrayed. These would be really useful on Earth in the event of an asteroid impact. Of course, humanity would want to avoid all of these events, and there really is a chance. It's all about the details. The fact that the impact of Chicxulub led to such terrible consequences was not only due to the size of the celestial body, its speed, and the place of collision. The angle of its impact was also important. An international team of researchers, along with Gareth Collins, professor of planetary science at Imperial College London, argue that Chicxulub struck the Earth at an angle of 40 to 60 degrees and came from the southeast. Collins calls this corner the deadliest. The asteroid impact released an incredible amount of climate-changing gases into the atmosphere, triggering a chain of events that led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. But if the asteroid had hit the Earth at an angle of 15 degrees, the dust, carbon dioxide, and sulfur compounds released would have been about one-third the amount. Even if the fall had been strictly vertical, the consequences would not have been so terrible. If people in our time could somehow change the angle of the asteroid, it could save the lives of millions. What the consequences would be in this case, we can only guess. But, moreover, I hope that the collision won't happen at all. I really like our planet, and it'd be a pity if something happened to it. And I don't want to go extinct, to be honest. In general, scientists agree that such an asteroid threatens our planet about every one million years or so, and no global catastrophe is expected in the near future. Most asteroids are located between Mars and Jupiter and will never get close enough to Earth to affect it. But this doesn't mean that repeating the history of the Chicxulub is 100% impossible. So, while our Earth isn't under the threat of a huge celestial body, you still have time to give this video a like. There's still many incredible discoveries, crazy theories, and all the most interesting things from the world of science in store. So, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to make sure you don't miss any of it.